Yeah, I'd love that. Um, yeah, last year was, was pretty hard going. It wasn't too much pace or bounce or anything like that. Um, sounds like from a couple of shield games that's happened this year, it's been um, a little bit more favourable to the bowlers. So as a bowler, I'd love that. Um, yeah, he better well, um, I thought. You know, first innings over in Perth, he's, um, you know, like all the really good batsmen, you know, they've got some strengths that if you if you get in their area, they're just going to put away um, you know, probably nine out of ten times. So, um, yeah, for us, it's just about starting really well against him, trying to not let him get off to a flyer and, and just doing our thing and being really consistent and bowling plenty of good balls. Uh, you can't get too funky against a really good batsman because they've got such good plans. So, um, yeah, being happy with how we're bowling. You know, to him so far, obviously he batted really well that first innings, but um, yeah, I thought we you know, bowled well, could have had him out a couple of times, but um, yeah, happy with how it's all going. I mean, I think growing up, like probably millions of Australians, it, it was always you wake up, turn on the TV, watch the first session. Um, so I think, you know, my first taste last year, singing the national anthem, packed crowd, just feeling that tension, knowing heaps of people back home. That's what I love the most. Um, and then, I think from then onwards, it kind of feels like any other test match. But that, that first morning is really something really special just to Boxing Day test. Yeah, fingers okay. Uh, haven't obviously batted or fielded or anything in the last couple of days. It's been a really nice refresher, but um, it, it has improved a lot over the last last few days and in the last day in particular. So today it'll be just full training, batting, catching. Yeah, I think with, with the Boxing Day test being such an iconic test match in world cricket not just not just Australian cricket I think that having having that on your doorstep for so many years and and, and being I suppose a huge fan of cricket and coming up and watching it as a kid it's it's such a such a huge moment really proud to be a part of it to be honest it's something that um, not a huge amount of people get to do and, and it's something that that you dream about as a kid like we know with Verity he wears his heart on his sleeve so does Tim I mean both very proud about about their country and, and both trying to win and, and I think that, that's been no different to any other cricket contest that's happened over forever I guess uh, it's just probably that the stump mics have turned up a little bit louder than they usually are the flying fox is going around cap capturing some more um, audio throughout the game so it's, it's genuinely no different to any other game it's just two guys well, it's 22 guys really just been absolutely passionate about about winning and, and doing all they can